For almost two centuries, the National Museum of Brazil in Rio has been fostering scientific research. Originally the first residence of the Portuguese royal family, it is currently the largest museum of natural history in South America. Now it is hosting an exhibit of a groundbreaking paleontological discovery, the unearthing of hundreds of pterosaur eggs and bones that were found in northwestern China between 2015 and 2016. Pterosaurs, the airborne cousins of dinosaurs, disappeared 66 million years ago, and only a handful of their eggs had been found until now. The discovery has stunned scientists from all over the world, and one of the reasons is that so little is known about these winged reptiles that ruled the skies long before birds. The finding was carried out by a team of Chinese and Brazilian paleontologists, led by doctors Wang Xiaolin and Alexander Kellner, depicted in these photographs at the site in 2016. Can you imagine, up to date we only had fewer than 10 eggs, and now we have over 200 to work with, some even containing embryonic remains. This, that gives us an opportunity to have, for the first time, a glimpse of the embryological development of a creature that lived some 120 million years ago. I just, I just believe in it because I saw it in front of my eyes. Kellner is thrilled and says that these animals that could stand more than one meter tall with a wingspan of more than three meters were in fact vulnerable. So now for the first time we are actually able to see something about the behavior of those animals. And what we have learned is that as soon as they hatched, they could walk but they could not fly. That means that for some time parents had to take care of them. The fossils were found in a three square meter sandstone block to the north of China's Hami city. Scientists say more field work is needed to shed light on the lives of Earth's first flying vertebrates. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.